So I came to the realization that over the past few weeks, I just have not been posting enough videos. The goal moving forward starting today is I'm gonna get a video out every day, even if it's absolute garbage. We're playing on the LAN server today on an account that I'm 4-0 on currently. And the goal today is I'm gonna try to keep my composure and I'm gonna try to be like low tier God and be mentally untouchable. This game I am playing Mordekaiser. I don't like playing AP mid, but we needed AP. We have a AD jungler and then an AD top lane. So I was forced to play AP. And I feel like Mordekaiser kind of can dump on like a Lux, for example. Mordekaiser just scales really well. He's one of the better APs, I think. Lisa's is very under level. This should be a free kill. She's not actually under level, maybe. Nice. I thought she was under level because she's only three, but Camille was three on that play. I'm just gonna wait. Was he running it down? He doesn't know whatchamacallit. We just AFK while he's walking back to lane. Do have merch treads now, so I think I can just run this guy down maybe. Ooh, enemy double kill. Pretty sure this guy has no way to uh, get away. Right, because he flashed earlier. I'm literally not even gonna throw an ability. <laughs> They're so fucking hopeless, dude. My Aatrox build is Berserker Greaves and then a tank killing item when the enemy is no tank. So this is why League's such a good game. You get teammates that literally don't have hands and then the next game you get auto filled to jungle. We also had no AP, so the fact that I'm playing AP jungler is really good for the team. I don't know. Yeah, that's game. So going into this game, I knew my Lucian was special because he was fifth pick and he fifth picked Lucian into a Yasuo. And so I knew that he was, you know, special, but I still decided, you know what, I'm gonna play the game out just to, you know, prove a point or something. Um, not sure really who I'm proving a point to, but. This could be good. Oh man, he's level five. You need to kill this guy. Wow, that was huge. I missed my spear too. I said one thing, GG, I'm AFK. I didn't even say a single thing to the Trist. And she's saying, report me, Flamer. These people, they're, they're mentally, they have mental issues. I literally didn't say a single thing to them, this guy. I don't care there's people that have like the maximal amount of brain damage in this game. The problem is like that person can actually convince the other idiots to report me. And with the new system, like I could actually get penalized off of that game. The dude doesn't even bring up the fifth pick Lucian into Yasuo, dumpstered. So this game I was third pick and I did not know what our top was gonna play. So I just assumed picking AP would be safe. I also saw Darius as well. And I gave the guy the option to go mid if he wanted to. And he decided that he wanted to go top into Darius as Mordekaiser, which that's not a good lane for Mordekaiser. He could be leaning in a collie right now, but he doesn't want to apparently. That being said, I will say we do have a Zed jungle on the enemy team, which is really nice. Um, for us, like it has no ability to wave clear. So pretty happy with that. And here it comes, the Zed jungle. He flashed on me. So yeah, there's his level three gank power spike. That we have somehow survived, so that's great. Maybe we don't survive actually. Maybe we're dead. Hmm. So I don't even know how much the last game I'm gonna show. Basically the Zed blows his flash on me early game and then I ended up being overly aggressive and I died to the Akali, which that was avoidable. The main thing though is my Mordekaiser was fifth pick and I told him you can go mid or top. For the Mord, that should have been such an obvious thing to go mid against the Akali. And then I could have just dumped on Darius, but it is what it is. And now I got the Mord on my team again. The guy is the biggest idiot known to man. And now to prove his intelligence level, he's going Soraka mid with Ghost Cleanse. There's something definitely wrong with the guy. Like he has some huge issues 
And like, this is another thing I don't understand about League. If they were smart, they would implement a system where like, I could have reported this guy last game or I could have selected an option like, I never want to play with this guy again on my team. And if he was on the other team this game, that'd be amazing. Like, I would feel so good just dumping on this guy. Like, it would just make my day just to put this guy in the trash can. But I get a player on my team again when we didn't work well last game. Like, we lost. Obviously, we didn't work well. Why is matchmaking mashing me with a player that we just didn't work well last game? And it's not even that we didn't work well. Like, I know this guy's an idiot going into the game. That right there is already tilting. If the Riot game devs had 10 IQ, they would implement systems like this where if you don't like a player in your team, then you can quote unquote report them and not get them banned, but just make it so they're not on your team again. And now the magic moment. What is Soraka going to do? Is she going to run down? This is so preventable. It's so easily preventable. And I don't even think he should get banned off of it. Like, he thinks that he can't win because he has the Teemo player from last game on his team that he just can't work with. And we have a gear and juggle too, so there's that. Dude, the amount of fulfillment I would get if this guy was on the enemy team this game is just so immeasurable. Like, it would make my week. But Riot Games, you know, they don't want you to be fulfilled when you're playing this game. They want just pure misery. I don't see a situation where Darius actually loses to Mord unless you just don't know how to play the matchup. And this guy thinks that Mord wins against Darius. Like, I can't even, dude. I actually want to play that matchup against the guy so badly. I'm, I'm almost at that point where I'm like, okay, let's freaking go then. Like, 1v1 me, bruh. But it's like, I, I don't actually care. And all right, well, that account's done. I ended the game 0-10, just like the Soraka. And I got my account suspended for intentionally feeding probably like a two-week ban or something. But yeah.